Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and this is another video on um, some techniques, some interdisciplinary things to bring into the Pilates work to help your clients transition out of their frantic overthinking mind and drop more into their bodies. So for centuries, the yoga tradition has used hand mudras to um, help to inspire different qualities and directions in the body. Um, and also um, acupressure, Chinese medicine, um, has also given us much guidance in how to use the hands and the fingers, different positionings, different holds to help us again to inspire um, more easiness in our system through those meridians. So the thumb is willpower. It's our ego. The first finger, index finger, represents calm, and our, our middle finger represents emotional well-being and boundaries. So if we put the um, index finger and the thumb together, we hold them one or two minutes or longer, you could definitely go longer, then um, that is giving the body the message of patience and wisdom. Again, you could just cue it as becoming easier, dropping deeper into your body. You could cue it with the breath or the footwork. And then if we bring the middle finger and the thumb together, right, then we are um, messaging more emotional well-being in ourselves, protecting ourselves, having healthy boundaries, um, and becoming more forgiving to ourselves. You can also have the client, during a sequence of one or two minutes, hold the thumb. And so this is going to inspire um, more capacity in the respiratory system and just a little bit of softening, right? Remember we talked about the thumb as that, that meridian of willpower and ego. So holding the thumb for one or two minutes, dropping into the body, it's just gonna inspire a little bit more softening and release. And the added benefit of that is that it also helps us to increase our ability for easy breath. Um, if we want to link it into the scientific literature, the fascial line of the, the thumb side of our arm is intimately connected with that fascia around our lungs and our heart. So it's like the, the yogic and the scientific community connect <laughs> through that. Um, and then you could also have clients during footwork or breathing sequences hold on to their middle finger for one or two minutes to inspire emotional well-being, again, to drop deeper into the body, to soften, to um, shore up the courage of creating healthy boundaries for themselves, valuing themselves, um, and creating just a, a a, a better platform to do their Pilates movement on, right? A better platform of um, the easiness of their body to do their Pilates movement on, and then also to walk out of the studio. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.